Hey guys, welcome back to the second week of my vlog, Marco Mondays. I wanted to start this week's video off with a little teaser clip of some drifting. So, before the video begins, here it is. So in today's video we're going to be heading down to Sublime Surfacing in South Edmonton to check out a cool little Datsun Z project that they're working on for S Motorsports and we're also going to be picking up an SR20 engine block that will be assembled in next week's video. So what Sublime Surfacing is is they do dry ice blasting and vapor honing. So you take a look at this picture up here in this top corner, you know something that looks pretty much 300,000 kilometers to looking completely brand new. And then this photo up here, again, same sort of idea, something super old, comes out looking brand new, and like a great thing that you can do pre-paint to kind of have a brand new surface to work on, something nice and fresh. So after Sublime Surfacing, we are going to head down to Triple S Motorsports. Um, I'm going to do a little walk around of the shop, kind of show you guys the, uh, the cool cars that they have around, what the shop looks like, as well as a walk around of my car with the kind of plans for the 2017-2018 offseason. So my plan is actually to introduce you guys to everyone that works at the shop, however, everyone was super busy that day, there was a lot going on, so I didn't feel like it was kind of the appropriate time to do that, but you guys will get a chance to meet everyone in a later video. But to tell you guys who is who, um, you guys will get to meet Brandy, she's the receptionist there, Corey who's the owner, also a fabricator, kind of master mechanic, he's been in the JDM scene for a very long time. Kenji's the manager, he does a lot of the um, dyno tuning stuff, also a master mechanic. And then we have Lido, who is also a kind of a jack of all trades mechanic sort of guy. And then we've got Tyson, who's the engine builder. He started off rebuilding Hondas, kind of moving on to different Japanese engines like Nissans and Toyotas. And then there's also Justin, who is the full time guy that does bodywork. Some of you guys locally in the Edmonton area might be familiar with Wayne Bowman's S13, that one there. Justin was responsible for the bodywork on that car, and it actually won a best-in-class Nissan award, I believe, at this year's Driven Show, beating out a SEMA car, which is pretty impressive. So I've been able to learn a lot from Triple S Motorsports um, in my 2017 season when they helped me out. The amount of knowledge that I gained from everyone that works there was so valuable to me, and I'm really excited to share that to you guys on my channel. The thing that I really like about the shop is everyone's kind of a jack-of-all-trades, but they also specialize in certain things, so they kind of weave together nicely and collaborate on certain projects bringing out their own sort of um, strong suits in each sort of car and putting their own sort of touch on each build and kind of gives a cool vibe in the shop. As a shop power, they take care of all things JDM. That's Nissan, Toyota, Subaru. Um, obviously, those are their three specialties, but anything from engine building to head porting and polishing, engine blue printing, balancing, custom fabrication, paint, body work, maintenance, and finally, dyno tuning to really tie it all together. So, enough talking. Let's head down to Sublime Surfacing. So we're here at Sublime Surfacing with, uh, this is Ted. Ted, how long have you been doing uh, dry ice and media blasting for? Months. Months, eh? Yeah. Just months. So Just this a couple is months. pretty new process here in Edmonton. We're uh, south side of Edmonton. So Corey brought me out here today because dry ice and media blasting is kind of a new process that we're trying to get done on a lot of the old 20 year old Nissans that uh, this company works on. So a little example here, We've got an old uh, Datsun. Uh, Corey, what is this Datsun? To uh, 73 Datsun 240Z. 73 Datsun 240Z. So Ted was just kind of showing us the process, a little kind of like before and after here. You could see on that side. Ted, you were saying that just stripped the old paint right off down to the primer, hey? Yeah, this paint, um, I heard it's pretty notorious for coming off pretty easily as well. And we were working on just getting some of the dirt and grime off. And uh, we went down to a really nice, beautiful prime finish here. 
so it's going to be really easy to uh, work on this car afterwards as well. Right. And if you just kind of compare it to this side, you can just see the difference. You can see the dirt that we kind of yeah. went after at first, but if that's all that's coming off, I mean, it's still going to give uh, it's going to give a great surface for for these guys to work on and a beautiful engine bay for the owner. Right. And then we also dropped off an engine for you, didn't we? Did yeah. Is that engine block? It's an SR20. I don't know, how many horses is this thing on its way to? Uh, we go four anyway. Okay, so now it's going to look the part too. So you can see a little bit of a difference what it, what it would have looked like before with all the staining, corrosion, and all the pores and pits for everything that is in the engine to sit and, and really stay on. And this is the finished product. This. This surface is actually going to be more resistant, more resistant to corrosion, to uh, to staining. It's going to be easier to keep clean, and of course, uh, if something gets built like this, it just looks like a jewel. Right. Yeah. When right when we walked in here, we were looking at it and we we're saying, it, "This looks like freshly painted." So. Yeah, it's a beautiful it process. Better than a painted uh, right. painted asset because I mean, paint still will eventually flake off. Uh, this won't come off. It just needs a little bit of upkeep. But uh, it'll look like this for years. And so this went into a machine? Yeah, uh, it went into right behind you to see the cabin. So this is what's called uh, vapor blasting, uh, vapor honing cabin. And this is like the one of the largest ones that I've seen in Western Canada. Uh, there's room for an entire small uh, car door in here. Uh, I've had a small Porsche hood right inside of it. And it's. Uh, yeah, this came from the United Kingdom just this summer. Well, it's an interesting unit for sure. Mm -hmm. Process has been around for about 50 years now, and uh, something Rolls Royce developed to uh, treat the turbine blades on their engines. To right. Surface treat and give the surface a little bit of tension uh, with just media blasting, but this doesn't remove, it doesn't change tolerances, and it doesn't remove material, provided you use the right media, like this glass bead. Right. Is there a lot of guys that do this in Canada right now, or it's? There's a couple other dedicated businesses that I found as well, maybe under a handful, but they're between this and the dry ice that we just right. talked about. Uh, there's only one other company that I found in the world that has the same uh, both processes under one roof. Right. That's it. So if you're in the Edmonton area. Sublime surfacing. Sublime Down surfacing. on what? What's the address here? It's, it's 8709A 50th Avenue. So get in touch with Ted. Um, I'll throw the phone number on screen as well as below, uh, so that you guys can give a call and uh, get in here. Definitely some good work. I know the next time I have my engine out of my car, it's definitely going to be coming here. So <laughs> we'll add to the work. Smart. Do a walk through the shop. It's so beautiful out. Nice and cold, I can see my breath. Then some cool uh, customer cars that they've been working on here. Nice R32 GTR. Blue 240, it's kind of a shame that there's snow because there's a lot of sweet cars here. This is a Z with a SR in it. Nice STI, the Hulk Triple S shop car, or one of them at least. I believe it has an owner as well, but yeah, it's a 2J S14. Some other cool cars back there, got an S14, um, STI, another R32, Suzuki Carry, Mitsubishi Delica, turbocharged, turbocharged minivan basically. Um, Brandon or Brendan, I believe his name was, his Supra. It's things like looking to run E85 this year, make like over 600 wheel. I um, believe they already built it. Tony's car that we just picked up today. My car's gonna go right beside it so that we can kind of push them in and out. And then we got Sweet RAV4. That is actually getting a Turbo 3S GTE. this guy over here gonna refresh the motor kind of have a look at it see what it needs and then drop it in 300 ZX that they did 
I think it makes like 400 wheel or something like that. And then my car, which is not gonna be staying in here, obviously. Just wanted to do a walk around video, so. But yeah, basically planning on taking this car apart, making it solid again, so. It's going to be getting the interior taken out. Cage is going to be painted because it's still bare metal, as you can see. Um, I'm going to pull the motor out and the trans because I blew up my trans at round five of spec D and kind of just threw it back together in like two hours during practice. So, got to redo that whole swap. And in the meantime, while that's out, I got to get a new rack, um, right hand drive rack, because mine is on its way out. So yeah, as you can see, time for a new rack. Motor's gonna come out, trans install's gonna be redone. We need to do the pilot bearing and the transmission as well anyways. So it'll just be way easier if all that's out of the car because I plan on cleaning up and painting the engine bay as well as uh, redoing kind of like a little bit of my wiring, uh, all that sort of stuff. I'm gonna try and rock new angle this year, thinking like GK Tech or something like that, along with the new rack. Should feel pretty good. Ordered a new exhaust because I still have two and a half inch all the way through and Kenji, our tuner, um, would definitely like to see a three inch exhaust all the way through on this thing to really allow the turbo to kind of breathe. Lots of other things on the list that need to be done to the car, but those are a couple of the main things. Uh, coilovers, new coilovers, just because I currently have some teens in there. And who knows what shape those are in right now. So that was the little walk around that I filmed earlier. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked the video, make sure to toss a like down below. Leave a comment if you have any questions, even if you want to hit me up at my Instagram at marco.t97 if you have any sort of questions. I'm always happy to answer them. If you like the channel and want to see more, subscribe. I'm going to be uploading weekly, of course, on Mondays. And also, if you guys want to check out some of the sweet merchandise that the You Auto Know crew has going, be sure to check out the website, which I have the link down below, as well as in the description. They've got some really sweet stuff. I'm going to throw a couple examples on the screen of some of my favorite products. Be sure to check them out. Put in an order if you like anything. Thank you guys for watching this video. See you next week. Cause you lie, lie, lie. You're so good at it.